Hi everyone, this is Moko Linden, and today I'll be giving you a brief tour of the new Second Life viewer. There are five major parts of the new viewer window. First, there's the bottom toolbar. Tools essential for new users are here. For example, chat allows you to write text that people in the nearby area will see. You can also expand the chat window to see your chat history. Profile allows you to edit your profile so other people in Second Life can get to know you. Then there's the left toolbar. After you're familiar with the bottom toolbar, these are good buttons to explore. For instance, Avatar lets you change the appearance of your avatar. Inventory lets you see the things you own. You can click on any of the buttons to see what they do. You won't mess anything up. Feel free to look around. At the top of the window, there's the menu bar. It works like any menu bar you have seen in other software. Moving to the right of the menu bar, there's your Linden dollar amount, which is the currency you use to buy virtual goods in Second Life, and a button to buy more Linden dollars. There's also a new shop button that opens the Second Life marketplace. At the far right end of the menu bar, there are buttons to control any media playing at your location, and a button to control the volume of what you hear in your location. Below the menu bar is the location bar. Inside the blank is what we call a slurl, that's S-L-U-R-L, -L, that shows your current location. It works like a URL in a web browser. It's a unique address for the exact location in the world where you are standing. In the beginning, you can just look at it to see how it changes as you teleport from place to place in the world. To the right of the location bar are locations that you have marked as your favorites. Experienced users will notice that the slurl blank and your favorite locations have been combined into one strip to save space. All of your favorites are still available here, but the ones that don't fit in the strip overflow into the drop-down menu at the right edge of the strip. From that drop-down menu, you can see your other favorites as well as open your landmarks window. You can also open your landmarks window from the button showing a globe icon. If you are a new user, you can add a favorite by clicking the star at the right end of the slurl blank. This adds your current location to your favorites list. That's it for part one of our viewer tour. In part two, we'll show you how to customize your workspace for how you use Second Life.